Well, the Target 12 investigators continue to track the fraud and public corruption trial against former Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa. Day two of testimony at federal court here in Boston. Prosecutors continue to present their case. Today, they portrayed the former mayor as a con artist who duped people into investing, but Correa's attorneys argue those investors should have understood the risks. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. In the first half of the day, we heard from two witnesses who invested thousands of dollars in an app Jaisal Correa was spearheading, and they lost every dime. Got a huckleberry fish. This video was played for the jury in the criminal trial against Jaisal Correa. Prosecutors say it shows Correa in 2013 touting what he claimed was a business incubator for tech startups. One business that takes two desks, like Big Productions, which is here. At the same time, investigators say Correa was luring potential investors of his own startup by claiming he had sold another app for hundreds of thousands of dollars, a claim that prosecutors say was a lie. One of those investors, Fall River orthodontist Dr. David Cabaceres, cut check after check to Correa's Snow Owl app, and all Cabaceres invested six figures. Prosecutors asked him, what is the status of your $145,000? It's gone, he replied. Then Stephen Miller of Warwick took the stand. He invested $70,000 in all for a 7% stake in the company. Miller testified Correa claimed he was not going to take a dime. His payday was going to come at the end, adding, I trusted him. But prosecutors say Correa spent the money on strip clubs, casinos, designer clothes, and student loan debt. On cross-examination, Correa's attorney, Kevin Reddington, asked the witnesses if they understood the risks of investing in a startup. In all, Correa is charged with 24 counts. He has pleaded not guilty. Our coverage of the Correa trial continues coming up on 12 News at 6. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. The Target 12 investigators continue to track the fraud and corruption, public corruption trial against former Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa. Day two of testimony at federal court in Boston as prosecutors called witnesses who say they invested thousands of dollars in a startup created by Correa and they lost everything. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. Investors say Jaisal Correa told them he sold an app while he was a student at Providence College for hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that gave them the confidence to invest in his latest startup. But prosecutors say that claim was a lie. Got a huckleberry fish. This video was played for the jury in the criminal trial against Jaisal Correa. Prosecutors say it shows Correa in 2013 touting what he claimed was a business incubator for tech startups. One business that takes two desks, like Big Productions, which is here. At the same time, the future mayor of Fall River was attempting to get investors for his now defunct Snow Owl app. Stephen Miller of Warwick testified he invested 70 grand, saying, I thought he was a boy wonder. I thought he was going to be the next greatest thing. Another investor cut check after check, ultimately losing $145,000. Prosecutors say despite an investor agreement that money would not be used for anything beyond business-related expenses, Correa spent the money on what they say was a lavish lifestyle. Retired New Bedford businessman Mark Eisenberg invested $25,000. He was asked a $300 cologne. Would that be an ordinary course of business expense? Absolutely not, he replied. Correa's attorney Kevin Reddington disputed the timing of those purchases and asked the witnesses if they understood investing in a startup came with risks. Now, the pool reporter inside the main courtroom said Correa's mother appeared to be crying at the end of Eisenberg's testimony. The trial resumes tomorrow. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.